so once you've taken this drone out of the box, it's almost impossible to get it back in there. And the real hard part is traveling around with it. So that's when I decided I needed a case. There's lots of options, but most of them are over $200. Plus they don't usually leave you the option to leave on the props. So I started looking around and I found a cheap case. The only downside was it didn't come with the preformed foam. Instead it was a pick and pull type where you could make it fit whatever project you were trying to fit. I found the easiest way to do this was to lay it all out how I want it and then mark my spots with matchsticks. This foam is real easy to work with, but for the spots where I had troubles, I just went in with a pocket knife. Having the Fly More combo kit, I needed a lot of extra spots for my three batteries and the extra charge port. The best part about this case setup was I could leave everything intact so that when I got out to where I wanted to fly, all I'd have to do is pull it out of the case and I'd be ready to go. The other good part about this case is I could leave the props on and not have to mess with those every time. This case is really sturdy and comes with a forward locking clasp. It also has two pre-drilled holes that are reinforced with steel for a padlock. It's dust tight and protected from water spray from a nozzle. However, you shouldn't submerge it. So this thing is watertight, dust proof, and impact resistant. Comes with an air relief valve. And it's only 60 bucks at Harbor Freight. Compared to a lot of the other cases out there that are over a hundred. And it's pretty easy to do. So I was able to fit everything in, my batteries, my controller, my cords, my Allen wrench down here, fly more combo charger, extra props, the strap stays on the goggles, extra body, charger, and I got a spot right here for when the motion controller finally comes back into stock. So, as always, Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.